I think Stadia needs more popular free to play titles, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Warzone, etc. Yeah, so, <clears throat> and I think that has to do with the porting system that they came up with. And then that's really what's been uh, kind of Stadia's oops moment. So I can kind of see what they were trying to do. They're like, okay, well, we, this is our technology, so we're going to keep it to what our system runs in, right? Which is what Mac does all the time, it's, which is super annoying about Mac or Apple. The mistake was that there wasn't a system that would allow those ports to happen fast enough. And so all these big publishers, all these big uh, developers, they're already successful in these platforms with millions of, of users. So why would they want to do a port for a platform with under a million users? You know what I mean? So I think that was the biggest blind spot. I think they're trying to fix it now. How crazy would it be if 20, salud, 2023, we start seeing some heavyweights, some Fortnite, some Warzone, some, you know, Apex Legends, some Valorant, some, you know what I mean? Like, what if the process is so easy that even if it only has, I don't know, 2 million users by then, that it's worth it to expose those people, those 2 million to the game? What would happen with Stadia then? You know, because what? <clears throat> Cloud Game is still going to be under 5%. Right. I wonder if they're like so quiet right now. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because I'm a fan and because I like doing that. I like, you know, I have soldiers that make mistakes and I always give, give them the benefit of the doubt. If they make the same mistake multiple times, then obviously that shows a pattern. And whenever you see a pattern, you got to recognize it and nip it in the butt. Right. So if I see a pattern with Google where it's constantly making the same mistake, then, OK, you know, what? I, I give it a shot, put my money in there. I guess I'm going to have to lose that money. You know what I mean? But up to, up to that point, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're new. What if Warzone comes to Stadia first? I doubt it because they're owned by Microsoft now, right? But what if, you know, that's a, that's a big what if. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be hard to combine publishers without either a large player base or a paid. Uh, not really. If the porting system is still uh, a hurdle, yes, it makes sense. Because you don't want to put money to develop something that's very few people are going to see. What if it's a matter of days? What if it's within a week that they can port a game? Every game at some point starts uh, starts to dip. You don't think that'd be a nice little boost? That's why they keep dropping DLC because once it hits that that uh, that high point and starts dropping, they want to bring those back. They want to bring those back. And eventually, look at PUBG. I mean, P PUBG was what, one of the biggest games back in 2017. And then, um, and now it's free to play because it's trying to get back, right? The only time that becomes a problem is exclusivity. And so that's why Google should be worried about all these companies buying all these uh, developers. If it's not for exclusivity, you want eyeballs in the game. TFN still lacks a lot of uh, big publisher games, despite them doing the porting process without the need of the game stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. So some, let's use uh, God of War as an example, right? uh that's an exclusivity thing but you don't think you don't think that it was just like a test to see if it was possible and then sony's like okay it's possible let's put it in our system you know what i mean just like when disney plus came up they pulled everything from disney off of netflix you know what i'm saying so that's the only time i see it as a as a reason why you don't want to be in a specific platform either that platform is maybe toxic or it's not um, part of your brand or exclusivity you want them in your uh you want them on your on your system but we'll see. I mean, I, you never know. I, you just never know what's going to happen in the future and how, how the technology is going to change, uh, how the gaming is going to change. Maybe maybe free-to-play at some point, uh, it won't work. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. 